Hello everyone, this is Krabs Koho here and welcome to the results from the World of Tanks replay competition. A task I sent out and sent you all on about a week or so today and well you guys have really come back with scores of replays for me to uh, check out. So what are we going to be doing this in this video is, well we're going to be doing the winner video. Whoever won that competition is getting their video displayed today, but it's not only going to be the winner. We're, I've got a ton and ton of honorable mentions, uh, probably like 10 or so that I'd like to actually do replays on in the near future as well. So what I'm planning on doing today is, one, the, comp uh, the actual person who won the competition, two, a second honorable mention, one out of the 10 of them, and third, I'll do a recap of what has happened so far. So three videos today. This is the first one. This is going to be the actual person who's won the replay competition, okay? So on we go, we're at the 10 second mark and we're gonna be just starting over here. So let's speed it on up to normal speed one times and the ticker is counting down. Now you guys have literally sent me in so many videos. I have in fact gotten 127 entries for such a small price. I mean, this was only meant to be like uh, 2,500 gold or 3,000 gold, depending where you live in the world, US or uh, EU server. So, you know, 127 entries, that really blew my mind, considering how many people wanted to win it, but, you know, if you just play all these games, hey-ho, it's always a cool thing to actually win uh, a neat little prize, just by playing the game, why not? That's always a good idea, hey? So, this is gonna be, in my opinion, a really dramatic replay, and what I was really looking for in these competitions, in all these uh, replay submissions, was basically suspense, not knowing what was going to happen, and obviously a lot of skill, alright? So a lot of you guys sent me in replays where you did manage to get 8 kills. Don't get me wrong, you got 8 kills, but it was your still sort of standard match. What the audience would like to see is something gripping, you know? Something gripping that can hold them there and just keep them wondering what is going to happen in that match. And by watching this replay, I just felt like I was sort of on just on the edge of my seat, not really knowing what was going to happen. So, well done to 0x90 for actually sending me in this replay. I'm really, really happy that I did because, to be honest, I was actually stuck between two replay replays. This and the honorable mention that I'm going to do uh, in the next video. I was stuck between these two replays. However, I just, I don't know. I thought I had to go with this one. So, let's start casting what is actually going on in the field. So, this is what the teams look like. He is an IS-4 and he is actually the top of his tier. So, you might be already telling me how this is kind of obvious to me he's obviously gonna get a lot of kills how is that really special well just hang on in there it really is going to be special okay so he might be the top of his tier and the top of the match but still it, it really is uh, unexpected what goes on here so he's gonna be playing on the map Siegfried line historical sort of thing Siegfried line um, but what he's doing at the moment is just staying inside the city. Now, a lot of people like to do this on this map. Um, it's either one of two choices, really, because you can go out on the open on the left-hand side, or you can go into the city in the right-hand side and the center. Left-hand side, I would say, is more focused to t uh, tank destroyers and also fast vehicles, fast tanks. But what I see a lot more often is that the heavier tanks will go into the city. So... That's what usually happens, and that's what he's doing with his IS-4, going into the city because that's where he's going to be most comfortable uh, going in. Because the artillery is one going to have a hard time taking him on, because what is the role of artillery to do maximum damage to the heavier tanks on the field? So, IS-4, top of the tier, he is obviously going to be a big target for any artillery, right? So... It's a good thing that he's actually staying in the city where he's got a lot of cover, not only from the artillery, but also from other tanks. So he can take advantage of his uh, chances. Now, it's already been a few minutes so far into the game and you, you might be asking me, uh, but Krebs, you know, he's got zero kills. Where are these eight kills or more? Well, trust me, they're coming because if we look at the uh, scores at the moment, the enemy team is leading by five kills. You can already look at the chat and tell by the team that they are not impressed. They are not impressed at all about how their team is already falling apart so fast. Now, that is obviously something that a lot of you would probably rage about. It's something that I have raged about previously in my games. Where, say if you're in a position such as like the IS-4 at the moment, and then the rest of your team is just crumbling apart, everyone's dying, you can already tell that the enemy team is leading by 7 kills. And so, if you were in the position of the IS-4, you'd be thinking to yourself, 
Oh my gosh, what kind of team have I been put on? This is not going to turn out good whatsoever. In fact, I know some people in this position would actually quit the game because they just cannot be bothered with it. But still, what I like about the IS-4 here is that he's going to keep on going. Even though the enemy team is leading by now 8 kills, he's not stopping. He's going to keep on going. And so, what he's doing is going around for a flank along the backside of all these tanks. And you can tell they're already scurrying around. They're running away because they know the IS-4 is right behind them. The IS-4 is right behind them. Is that going to mean life or death? Well, we pretty much know that. Death is just around the corner. And now, I believe he's actually totally disregarding that AMX that's right behind him. In fact, he's just going for the T-34. Why? Because the T-34 is the other tier 9 on the enemy team, okay? So that is going to be his main contender. If he can get some good shots on him on his backside, which he was able to do there, then that's going to be a good start for him to actually taking it out. So... The T-34 is already down quite a bit of health, and that's a good start, as we, as I was saying. That's why he was specifically going for him and just totally disregarding the uh, AMX, because the AMX is going to have a difficult time taking him on in the first place, right? And here we go. I think this is where we got to start uh, going into free camera. As you might notice now, he's actually being locked in from every single side. The T-34 in front of him with the T-43 behind him. We've also got the AMX and some other tanks, the ARL grinding at the back of him the t-34 finally gone so that is the main contender on the enemy team what we have left on the enemy team is just a bunch of tier eights uh actually one tier eight a bunch of tier uh one tier seven a bunch of tier six but they've also got two artillery pieces the other tank just walking from behind taken out so that's two vehicles gone around him three kills in total already the amx still trapping him how annoying can this be for the <laughs> For the IS-4 at the moment, his health is dwindling down. The enemy tank just behind him, destroyed by it looked like a teammate um, over there. So at least there's a bit of support coming from his team. At least the IS-4 is not completely alone, but overall it still looks like he's quite alone in this match. The only other thing that's on his team is the Gorilla hiding at the very back of the, at the map of the map but he doesn't really look like he's doing anything in fact no he's actually gone taken out and these are the kills racking up for the is4 at the moment you can see that he was taking shots at them over in the field hiding right in the open i wish those enemy tanks were probably you know get some decent cover uh behind some bunkers or just behind uh i don't know some terrain angles or something like that you know along a hill at least something along that lines but unfortunately i think what they were just trying to do is just finish off this is4 why because you look at his health down to literally 52 health points left they're thinking oh no it probably doesn't matter if, it, if we're in the open you know 52 points left maybe we're gonna get lucky hit him in some vulnerable area and just take him out you know you can see his fuel tanks on the side that's always a good idea you, if you can at least penetrate those set him on fire 52 health points Probably not enough to actually keep him alive for that long. Seven kills already. So what we've seen is that big jump from zero to seven kills. Just a few minutes ago, what we saw was zero kills for zero X90. Already up to 80. One, the KV-1S uh, going down right there. And now it just looks like the enemy team is crumbling beneath this one single IS-4. Who's moving up on up to his... Uh, his territory, his victory points, whatever you want to call it, this sector. I know victory points is from another game, Company of Heroes, but hey ho, it doesn't really matter. It's the same sort of idea. So he's going up to his uh, area, his spawn, because he can see that his point is being uh, ticked down at the moment. 64 and counting. He still has a little bit of time, but there's an enemy tank over there with probably the enemy artillery possibly lining him down. And gonna be trying to take him out if they can. AMX already firing away at the IS-4 because he knows this is not going to be good for him. He's just, oh god, he's just going to stay still because he knows there's no way of escaping the IS-4. And there we go, AMX being taken out there. If I was the AMX, what I would have done was probably use my speed to a little bit of an advantage. Maybe get behind that... Um, those obstacles right in the center of the flag, beside the flag, I mean, you might as well, because that IS-4 would hit that, and, you know, that would have to be destroyed first before he could take out the AMX. Could have delayed the IS-4 from actually destroying it, and, in fact, maybe he would have actually captured the uh, points in, in altogether if he would hit behind the, those obstacles, but fair enough. 
Artillery taking the IS-4 down to four points, four health points! And so the IS-4 is uh, just up against two artillery pieces. This has changed so dramatically here. We don't know who's going to win because, you know, two artillery pieces, we know already how the artillery works. They Every single shot they take is so vital because of the long reload time between their shots. So the probably the worst enemy of a... Uh, <laughs> of another um, of an artillery piece is probably not another artillery piece I mean they can be bad but probably just a main tank because a main tank like the nice 4 can shoot a lot faster than an artillery piece can and so um, that is kind of scary but at the same time at least the IS-4 is down to 4 health because no matter where the shot lands that means that the IS-4 will probably be destroyed you know if you had full health if you had even just a bit more health than 4 health points he could, you know, take an explosion from the side, he could do something, but at four health points, I'm not exactly too sure, right? So here we go, friendly base being captured, his base is being captured, looked like he was going to go try to find the artillery, he was heading up straight towards the center portion, maybe trying to get a good uh, vantage point on top of the hill just to see if there was any sort of artillery from uh, multiple directions, but no, it looks like possibly one, maybe both of them, have actually gone over to his spawn area and are capping at the moment. If I could imagine what would be happening, it looks like only one artillery piece is at the spawn because of the sort of slow um, pace of the countdown at the moment. So I have no idea where the other artillery piece may be. It might be somewhere in the city. It may be just at, the, at their spawn. Uh, maybe waiting for the IS-4 because at the moment the artillery pieces don't really know where this tank is all right so here he comes in going in to hopefully defend his base with four health points left 53 points and counting uh, just a single artillery piece up there can he take care of it because if we know the artillery piece misses then that gives the IS-4 such a good window of opportunity to just destroy that artillery piece, whatever it may be. So he's coming in here. The few last moments of of um, of this uh, very, very epic battle just about to happen here. And the GW Vehicle Panther destroyed. taking it out. No! Oh, man. IS-4, what happened? Oh, God. Lucky. Lucky GW Panther. Was that what you guys expected? I surely did not expect that. When I first watched this replay, I was just rooting for the IS-4. I could not believe it that he was taken out after such success, taking down nine tanks. That happening with the artillery just finishing it off in one single shot. Even though he was hiding behind a bush there, even the bush was obscuring the view, it didn't really matter. The GW Panther saw him and took him out. You know, if he could have approached this differently, maybe he could have came in from an angle, came in from the side. Then again, GW Panther with a very massive um, traverse on its turret. So, not exactly sure how that would have turned out. But anyway, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that replay. I thought that was very worthy for winning this competition. Now, what we're going to be doing for the next video is an honorable mention. This is going to be the second place, the runner-up. Unfortunately, no prizes because I didn't actually make that, uh, you know, before in the, uh, when I announced this competition. I didn't expect so many of you to actually uh, sign up for it and put in your entries. But we're going to be doing an honorable mention next, along with the next few days. I'll be doing a few honorable mentions here and there. And also, we'll have a recap as the third video for today. So if you want to find out more about this comp ongoing competition and what I'm going to be planning to do with it, then check out that honorable or not the honorable mention, but the recap the third video for today, okay? Thank you for being part of this and see you in the next video.